Today I will show how to make cream roll or cream horns quickly along with some tips. I have saved on time and energy by using ready made dough sheet and instant cream. I will also show how to make molds if ready made molds are not available. In my childhood I ate a ton of them. I am sure this is the case for many. I prefer eating it with tea or coffee. I will get 6 to 7 horns or rolls. So it serves 5 to 7 people. If you are a new friend or an old friend who did not subscribe yet, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting and hitting the bell icon. It motivates me. Let's quickly go through the ingredients needed. Let's begin. I have taken one Pillsbury Crescent dough sheet original. It has one sheet in it. I thawed this package for one hour. After 30 minutes, I also preheated the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. After one hour, I unwrapped the dough sheet following the instruction on the body of the package. It generally takes more than two hours to just make this flaky dough. With this dough, I can serve cream rolls within 30 minutes. It saves a lot of time and energy. I am using it for the first time. So let's go through the journey together. This is how it looks like. I sprinkled some all-purpose flour on a chopping board to lubricate it. I placed the dough sheet on the lubricated board and unrolled it carefully. I also lubricated the top part of the sheet with all-purpose flour. It has a haphazard shape. So with a silicon baking sheet, I have cut the sheet into a rectangle shape. We can use a regular ruler for this work. This sheet has an inch ruler. I have used it to mark the sheet on both sides. We can use any ruler or a finger for measurement. Then I have cut the sheet into long strips of one inch each. I will not throw away the extra dough. I will knead it, roll it, cut it and use it in this recipe. I have taken ghee, about one fourth teaspoon, and melted it in the microwave for 50 seconds. I will use these steel horn molds, so I lubricated them with the ghee so that the rolls come out easily. Then I rolled the dough strips on the mold like this. It should start from the bottom and move towards the top. The strips must overlap at around 50%. It is okay to pull the strips. Since the mold is not complete, I used another strip. With finger, I gently pressed the joinings to blend two strips together. The extra strip can be torn apart. It is recommended to leave some part of the horn at the top. It will help to pull the mold out. My horn is ready. I will do the same for all the horns including the ones that I will make. Now I will show how to make a horn mold. I have taken a regular A4 size paper and tore it into halves. I then rolled each piece into a cone shape resembling the steel mold. Then covered the cone with an aluminium foil. 
I will lubricate it with ghee and roll the dough strips on it just like I showed already. I also put some crushed foils inside for support. My cone is ready. I have got about 6 cones. My cones are bigger than the ready-made horns, otherwise there's no difference between the two. To create egg wash, I have taken egg 1 and water to 2-3 teaspoon and mix them well. Instead of egg, we can use milk. Then with a brush, I coated the cones generously on all sides. This will seal the gaps and give a nice golden color to the cones after baking. I then put a parchment paper or butter paper on a baking tray and place the cones gently on the tray. I have maintained some distance between the cones so that they get the heat on all sides. I then placed the baking tray in the middle of the preheated oven and baked the horns at convection mode with fan on at 300 degree Fahrenheit for 25 minutes or till golden color. After 25 minutes, the cones look beautifully baked and golden on all sides. Wonderful baked cones aroma has already filled my kitchen. I will leave it outside to cool down to room temperature. After 20 minutes, the cones look cool. So I took out the molds from the cones. I used ready-made instant fresh cream. It is very thick, cool and has vanilla essence. Once the cones are out of the molds, I filled them with instant cream with the help of a spoon. With the back of a spoon, I have pushed the cream down the cone. We can also use piping bags and decorative nozzles for good looking cream toppings. Let me break it and show you how it looks inside. Very yummy. I will store the cones that have cream in them in the fridge as the cream is dairy. The cones without cream can be stored separately in airtight jars for future use. Hope this video helped you. Please let me know in the comment box. Bye.